Good morning, guys. I'm at home today and I haven't been for a while. I've been hustling and traveling. And uh, today I'm at home, but there's just so much to do. I don't even know where to start. I woke up a bit earlier, but I've been watching. <laughs> oh, but when you have house, it's so messy. And especially because it's after a weekend you know how guys uh, plays around during the weekend and then uh, you clean on Monday but yesterday I wasn't around and neither were the guys so I love clear uh, counter spaces well done table clean oven so I'm going to do that uh, shortly but at first, I think I'll make breakfast. Um, not sure what to eat, but I think I'll just do some eggs, toast, and coffee. And I want to redo this uh, room. At first, it used to be a pantry. But I got this shelf that's a corner shelf and very suitable for... A pantry the problem is we have to put it together and we haven't had time so it's gonna come over here because I think that's the only angle it can fit if it fits this way well and good and then we can still continue making our coffee from there because that's where we have the outlets the power outlets yeah so that's what I'm thinking but it might take some time so hubby came to the rescue and he set this up for me and you, as you can already tell it looks so much neater i've been in a season where i want to declutter so much and just make some changes but there's just been too little things too many little things uh just making the overall outlook look you know not seem as neat as it should be so i'm just working on this to make a uh, the, the house look a bit neater and just declutter as much as I can for this season so that we can go into the season feeling a bit lighter. So I'm setting up this and there are things I might not use like the uh, spice uh, placements over there but so far so good. It looks so much neater. So I wish I could fit two of these in here because it's so much neater and it takes a lot of stuff. And I like the spaces in between each of the shelves. It's so nice. So you can put even the very tall jars. So I'll see how this works. I'm still in the process of setting everything up. Man, even the toaster looks so dusty. <laughs> But it's that kind of day, and yeah, I did see that shell afterwards as soon as I flipped the egg. was jealous over his land, and he said, I am bringing you new wine, new coin, and new oil, enough to satisfy you. Never again shall the other nations... I'm done with breakfast now, and uh, I have had to break apart our jigsaw puzzle. So that's the thing we we, we were doing uh, a while back. Uh, we do a lot of jigsaw. We used to do a lot of jigsaw puzzles, but we haven't done that in a while. It's like everything has been just focused on going out to work. And I feel like we've neglected a lot of the things we like. And even our house looks a bit tired <laughs> and old. I don't feel like things are feeling good so i want to awaken sort of awaken everything and just get ready for this season of fall albeit a bit late uh so i want to empty this sink and just have everything on the counters a bit decluttered before i clean the floor and then uh, i'll work on the bedroom i love making my bed as soon as i wake up but sometimes it, it can be that easy so um I haven't changed my bedroom for the fall. If I could, I would have white beddings throughout the season. But I feel like sometimes it's just good to, you know, go with an earthy theme for fall. Uh, so mainly beige and uh, 
uh, darker comforter but for now i'm keeping the white because it's not a uh, bedding's changing day <laughs> It's evening now and I'm just doing my maze so that I can make githeri the next day. So this is just preparation. Then I'll have it sitting in the fridge for the next day. Once I get the beans, I'll do my githeri and I'll actually show a recipe. Um, yeah, but for tonight, we'll make something else. Okay, so this is the githeri. It was done uh, with kidney beans. That I got this is like two pounds of kidney beans and I just love when it's like 50 50 not too much maize uh, that's how we enjoy it <music> Anyway, I'm heating up my pan so I can start cooking and I'm just using some oil there This will be just oil onions uh, the potatoes and I'll add a bit of coriander and green pepper I'll also add the githeri spice that I got from one of us here abroad uh, most Kenyans do know how to bring some spices abroad and that's a good thing uh, yeah and on this day I had actually just made my fresh garlic and parsley So I just added paprika, salt, some seasoning salt, and uh, the the githeri spice, and just made the potatoes color change like that. So uh, with this one, even though I had plans to make a like a githeri stir fry, uh, because I added the potatoes, I had to add a lot of stock so it could cook, and uh, it was really delicious. the The beans were a bit overcooked, so. It's a very it's a very tricky balance to find where the beans don't stick while the potatoes cook in the soup, you know, because the potatoes may take longer if the beans are already overcooked. So this is our gideri. It's looking nice, and that's how we ended the day with the hot with hot bowls of gideri. I hope you love Gideri. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is like the authentic middle life or middle age life in America uh, where you find that you can really not live without the foods you grew up with. And it turns out that the kids love our Kenyan food too. Anyway, they always have. I've always cooked uh, Kenyan meals. I think the only other things I added to uh the, the meals that we do cook is uh like lasagnas and all that but we hardly make things like mac and cheese but i'll actually show you the american sandwiches that we love this you would love to so i'll share a recipe soon so that's our githeri i put it there just to cool and this is how it looked bye bye and please subscribe <music>